I uh, just got in the mail today this big, huge box, and I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to do an unboxing video. Now, for the past few weeks, I've gotten um, a whole bunch of books in the Second Chance at Love series from the 1980s, published by Joe Berkeley. It was a category romance novel line that lasted almost 500 books and was edited originally, I think, by Carolyn Nichols and then uh, Ellen Edwards um, for the middle 1980s. Anyway, so I've ordered, I bought these on Facebook from a seller that uh, I bought a ton of books from. I think I paid about $21, $22 for this box. And I can't really remember what's in it, but uh, it is Second Chance of Love books. But I can't remember all the particular, you know, numbers. <clears throat> but I have a whole bunch that I bought recently also that I didn't show in any of my previous videos. I'm going to carefully open this up because you can see one of the books is right there, right where it starts. And then we'll look at them. So I have, like I said, a whole bunch that I've already purchased in, that are in a stack over here. And we'll, uh, I have, I think, most of those in numerical order. So then we'll just... Uh, Get all now. These obviously won't be all in numerical order. I'll have to put them in numerical order. But um, there we go. Wow. So it's packed full. A second chance of love. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so we're gonna set the scissors aside there, and we're just gonna carefully pull these books out. All right, so there's book number 267 from uh, 1985, number 247, number 139. 299, Spring Madness by Amy Duvall, 228, 324, you know, they changed the cover design, you know, originally it had sort of a smaller cover design like that, where I mean, a smaller uh, color, uh, illustration, cover illustration. And then gradually the illustration got bigger. That's book 270. And then this is my favorite uh, cover format, 328 right there, where it's, you know, you can see it's the, they got, oh, the butterfly motif that they had is still there. You can see it up in the corner. But uh, they just decided, let's focus, you know, more in the cover artwork and just having the logo really big. 186. So yeah, these are all from the 1980s. Because I think it started around 1983, maybe. Maybe 82. And then uh, it ended in 1989. And Ellen Edwards, uh, like I said, uh, took over as editor after Carolyn Nichols had founded the line. Um, but then uh, Ellen Edwards ended up leaving around 1986. And uh, she went moved over to Avon. It's just an example of the back cover there. And then, like I said, in 1989, it, uh, it ceased. And they didn't make it. This one's got a, a big crease, unfortunately, in it. But uh, this is book number 28. So this is early in the run. Let's see when that came out. See, Carolyn Nichols is the uh, founding editor. 
February 1982. So the line must have started in 81 then. There's book number 28 there. All right. Oh, it looks like I may have a non-second chance love. Oh, nice. So yeah, this I had done a previous video about Daisy Thompson. Um, and I had a whole bunch of Daisy Thompson books that were all published by Pyramid Books around the time that they were publishing Barbara Cartland. And then uh, Pyramid, I believe, went out of business or was bought or something like that. And then Jove became the publisher. So this is around 1978, I think. So let's check my memory here. Oh, 1977. So December 77. So Jove picks up. I think Pyramid becomes Jove or something like that. And what copyright is the... Uh... So it is 1970. It's a current book that she wrote. Because some of her pyramid books she had written in the 1960s but they weren't published in the u.s until you know by pyramid until the 70s but um anyways i'm glad to have another daisy thompson book this is the first uh jove book that i have that is a daisy thompson release so they picked up right where uh pyramid had left off but they have a different cover uh cover artist and um I talked about that in my Daisy Thompson video, and the cover design is a little different. Anyways, so back to Second Chance at Love. This is book number 275. Nice cover there. It looks like they're in outer space. Night of a Thousand Stars. They're astronauts? Yeah. Well, this is different. Yeah, it's a outer space romance. Interesting. Here's another one here. Number 393. Book number 259. Two sixty-three. I've only ever read one Second Chance Love novel, and I can't remember which which one it was or what the author's name was. Though it was enjoyable, it was kind of forgettable. The, the particular one I read, um, Electronics Company President. <laughs> But yeah, what happened was the seller uh, had a whole bunch of these for four for a dollar plus postage. So I said, "I'll take them." Any any second, I said, "Any second chance at love, I'll take." So, uh, so like I said, this is just the latest box that just came in. She sent uh, two previous boxes, but they were uh, smaller boxes, and they cost less. As this one. She sent me the invoice and I was like, why is it 20 some dollars? But uh, then when I, she sent me the um, receipt of the, you know, they had the tracking number on it from the post office. I saw it was like 11 pounds that this weighed. So I was new. Uh, there's more books. That's why it cost more. Yeah, it'll be interesting, you know, to... Uh, put some of these in order you know and i have some more too other than the ones i'm you know that i've gotten in the past week i have like another box that i'm not going to show that but uh that was in a previous video if you look at my series of videos of called my romance novel collection i have another one um i don't know what I, offhand what uh number it is but if you go down, scroll through my videos, and, and actually I'll put a link in the uh, description below, and it'll be to my previous video that showed my second chance of love books. So that's uh, that's a nice cover. So so far, all second chance at love, except for that Daisy Thompson book. Francine Rivers. 
You know, she wrote a couple books for the uh, Second Chance at Love series, and later became well known for her uh, in the late '80s for her inspirational when she moved from, you know, just regular mainstream uh, mainstream romance to uh, inspirational romance. Number 196. Let me get these sorted up here. 293. Book number 191. Three fourteen, and one ninety nine. And some nice covers. You know, it's a uh, it's a pity they didn't have the covers bigger to begin with, though. Now, Second Chance Love was always um, contemporary. You know, contemporary romances, except for. They did occasional Regency romances, which I didn't realize at first until I started buying these. And so I have maybe about five or six Second Chance of Loves that are Regency romances. You know, but all the rest of, uh, for the most part, I think they might have stopped doing it after, you know, by maybe 1984 or so. Then they just went to contemporary. But, um... You know, that's kind of like a, a thing similar to how uh, the Dell Candlelight Romance, the original Candlelight Romance series from 1967 to 1982, had also had uh, a thing where they would, you know, have a historical, you know, and then the next book might be a contemporary, the next book might be a mystery, you know, whereas for the most part, it got to, by the 1980s, lines were sort of more segmented where... It was either a historical line or it was a contemporary line. You know, there were some exceptions like the Galen uh, line, which was some of the um, books were contemporaries and some were historical. And also the Avon romance line, the ribbon romance line, started out with a few contemporary books in there, but it was uh, later they just decided to make it all historicals. Book number two forty. That's a lot of a lot of books. Looks like a Christmas uh, themed one. Let's see what year that came out or what month? If it's Christmas, actually, October nineteen eighty four. And let's get this out of the way here. I'll put this down so we can see the uh, books better. And so this is book number 237. And finally, this book, number 260. So all these books, how many are there? Let's see, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two of that stack, and then twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. 28, 45 books of the Second Chances Love plus this Daisy Thompson makes it 46 altogether. So 
for 46 books. All right. So now I mentioned I had some other books I had gotten recently, which I've not showed yet in any of my videos. They were also Second Chance at Loves. And let's see what we got here. I thought I'd put these in alphabetical order, but evidently not. Or not alphabetical, chronological order. Anyway, so I'd also gotten, like I said, about two packages from uh, the Facebook seller. And so these were the more of the Second Chance at Love books that I got. And here's a comparison of how you can see how the covers have changed over the over time. This is book number 16. This is book 267. So, you know, you can tell the... Uh, they fiddled around with the uh, thing to make it... Make the cover bigger. Anyway, 16, 25. Number 34. Oh, this is number 27, so we're out of order. And number 37. And I'll grab some more here. I got them all in the box sitting next to me here. Uh, number 42. Garden of Silvery Delights. Number 56. Too Near the Sun. And book number 82. You know, and uh, the reason I got all these is, you know, not that I expect them to be fantastic reads, but um, just because I'm fascinated by the history of uh, these category romance books. This Lee Damon had written a Galen book called Again the Magic. Not to be confused, I think Lisa Kleypas has a, a book called Again the Magic. But um, if I recall right, uh, I think it was Kathy Robin, maybe, or Melinda Helfer, one of the Romantic Times reviewers really liked Again the Magic and had said, you know, people had said, oh, whatever happened to Lee Damon? And they would say, oh, she's no longer writing or whatever. Um, so Lee Damon was popular with that uh, certain critics of romance fans. But um, anyways, not that, uh, not that it's a, a big deal, but I just noticed that um, Vanessa Valcour. Jan Matthews. Let me get those the pictures in more. Book number one sixty one. And one sixty eight. Linda Barlow. Alyssa Curry, 178. Yeah, might as well grab this little stack out of here. Make it go faster. 197. 110 Ways, number 206. This is a very 80s cover. Kiss Me Once Again. Dear Adam, Notorious, Swept Away, Wildfire, This is the very next book, 265, Passions Dance. Undercover Kisses. And like I said, I don't know exactly how long it ran, but I don't I think it was le just less than five hundred. So it was probably around, you know, four some four hundred and ninety or four hundred and eighty, somewhere around there. I believe, if I recall right. Two 
298. Man of Her Dreams, 301. I'll get another stack out of here. Uh, 305, Whispers of an Autumn Day. That's an evocative title. Number 321 on Cloud 9. That's a racy cover. The very next book, 322, Belonging to Taylor. What is that? It looks like a signature in there. So you can read that. But, uh, Diana Morgan, Bringing Up Baby. The very next book, Dylan's Promise. Three thirty-five stolen kisses. Three forty-five blue skies, golden dreams. This is a nice cover. Helen Carter is my I wild Irish rogue. Carol Buck, happily ever after. I read one Carol book, uh, Buck book, and uh, it was a silhouette desire from like 1995 or 96, something like that. And I enjoyed it. She was, uh, it was really uh, uh, funny and uh, well done. Let me get the other stack here. In fact, we'll get the whole thing here. So this is the rest of the books. 356, By Love Betrayed. 388, Places in the Heart. 392, nice cover, 392, Made for Each Other. 392, Made for Each Other. Gene Kent, Night Moves. 392, Book number 429, Rules of the Heart. Another Carol Buck book, Rainbow's End. This is book 436. And last book here that I got is uh, 454, Joan Hall, Window on Today. That was a very nice cover, too. Uh, 1989. So this is from the final year. Um, of uh, Second Chance at Love. Before it, they stopped. There's some of the Second Chance at Love books. Yeah, and several would come out every month. And... Uh, you know, just like Harlequin novels. So, uh, yep. So I'm happy to have gotten all these. Again, I don't know how many <laughs> this is. I'm not going to count all those. I don't think. Let's do it. Might as well. i got a few minutes left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, set those aside, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 
41, 42, 43, and 44. So 44, and how many was in the other ones? Like around 44 or so? So at least 88 books, right? <clears throat> around 88 books, maybe more of Second Chance at Love. So that's only like... If it ran, you know, almost 500 things, that's almost like a fifth of the entire run. And I still have more, too, like I said, in, that I showed in that previous video. So anyways, that's uh, that's my latest uh, in my series of videos showing my romance novel collection. Thanks for watching.